All right, time to do another comic book pickup haul. It's been a while since I've had an opportunity to do this, but um, a week ago, as of this video, uh, the I believe it was the 12th of December, uh, my brother and I drove up to Concord, North Carolina for the Charlotte Comic Con. First real show that I've done, that I've been to since the coronavirus. Uh, I usually go to the big Heroes Con in Charlotte, uh, North Carolina uh, over the summer, but because of Corona, it had been canceled the last two years. So I was really excited to get out and go do some digging through the cheap boxes that I like to do. And I just wanted to show off some of the highlights. Uh, let's start off with Iron Man. Was able to pick up several books for my run of Iron Man. Um, kind of surprised to find some of these. So first off there, you can see we have issue 166. We have 175, 184, 187, oh, got them out of order a little bit, 185, 192, 193, West Coast Avengers there, 195, 196, 198, 201, 202, 203, 214, 217, 223, 224, 227, 235, and last one, 242. So I put a nice dent in uh, my Iron Man run. So sticking with the Avengers. I was really surprised to find 267 in a dollar box. It's not a direct issue. It's got a few spine ticks, but for a buck, and it's one that I didn't have, so that does complete a, a hole. Um, switching over to Sp Spider, Spider-Man, was able to pick up a few things there. Found Felicia Hardy, Black Cat number two, that completes that mini series. Spider-Man The Lost Years, number three. I liked the Clone series. Probably one of the few. So excited to get that. Found the last issue of the Marvel Knights Spider-Man run, issue two. That's the only one that I needed. Kind of surprised to find that. And I got some issues of Web and Spectacular that are floating around down there. And another stack. Let's switch over to Daredevil. This is one that I've only started uh, building in the last couple of years. So 242, 246, 252, Two ninety nine, three oh two, three fifteen, and I found a couple issues of Electra to finish off this run. I got issues nine and eleven. Don't come across those that often. Again, in the cheap boxes. One of the subsets that I'm working on is the Malibu stuff. Um, not necessarily just the time frame from when Marvel Comics purchased Malibu, but I uh, found an issue, or I think my brother found this one, of issue of Rune, issue two. Nice Barry Windsor Smith art. And uh, the all new Exiles number one, which I think that finishes off that run for me. 
Also, 2099 stuff from Marvel is, is, a, is a subset I'm working on. I got an upgraded uh, issue 11. Now, two issues of Punisher 2099. So we got issues 9 and 10. Getting close to finishing that one off. The only book that I did not get out of a cheap box, the last issue of Hulk 2099, number 10. Doom 25, that is the foil cover. And then some of the what the heck, why not purchases. G.I. Joe 59. The uh, Marvel run does not show up in cheap boxes all that often, and if they do, they're dogged. I think I already had this one, but this is in a much better shape. Maximum, maximum Security, number one. It's a uh, story that ran across a lot of different Marvel titles, but I didn't have any of the, uh, the main series. Darkhold, number 12. Not high on my list, but I do pick those up when I can. It's getting towards the end of it. And some just good old Doctor Strange. We got 73. Go to the next series. We have 28. 33, which is an Infinity Gauntlet tie-in. Didn't find much Ghost Rider, but I did uh, find Night Stalker's number 11. One issue of ROM. Issue 35, close to filling in, the, completing that series. Same thing with Silver Surfer, issue 17. Don't do a lot of Marvel or the Mutant stuff, but I did enjoy, after the Age of Apocalypse, the Operation Zero Tolerance. So I found a tie in there with Wolverine 116. And again, these were, hey, why not? Death's Head. This is the incomplete Death's Head, which, as my brother pointed out, this Marvel UK story kind of collected and retold um, a lot of the stories. And also, you know, kind of, uh, talk, you know, we got Death's Head 2 there as well. But I found the first two issues. I don't know if I'll ever find the other 10 for cheap, but. One of the last purchases of the day I made was. Thor 498 when Deodato was on the art one random issue of Hulk 389 man thing love man thing we have Avengers volume 2 number one right after Onslaught sent the heroes or Franklin sent the heroes off and the thing 29 which i've been looking for for quite a while there's a run of these issues where marvel boy from the new warriors uh, took up wrestling so that's why i wanted to get those but that is about it a couple of the little things that I, don't, I won't bore you guys with but uh that is my my little haul oh the other thing i bought And you keep it toy related. I got this is the first purchase of the day was G.I. Joe Classified Roadblock. I had passed on this before, but this was half price. It was 10 bucks. So couldn't resist. And I think this is the re issue with the different paint apps where they tone down some of the gold and silver and whatnot. I could be wrong, but I didn't have it. And at the price, why not? But I'm going to wrap that up. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if there's something that uh, you saw that the cover that you liked in particular, yeah, leave a comment. And we will catch you in the next video.